Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. In this video, I'm going to talk about multivariate data analysis before uploading specific YouTube contents, such as principal component analysis, factor analysis, cluster analysis, and so on. Because I believe this video will guide you to build up the concept of multivariate data analysis. The objective of multivariate data analysis is to extract information from a distance matrix. And it requires matrix decomposition, such as singular value decomposition. And it also reduces uh, dimension with small information loss, because in statistical analysis, we consider uh, error term. There are two types of distance metrics, I believe. Uh, the first one is Euclidean distance or Malonovis distance. We use this kind of distance data uh, for uh, cluster analysis. And also covariance and correlation metrics is also kind of distance metrics because the diagonal term for correlation metrics is one, but the off diagonal uh, elements actually uh, between minus one to one. So we use this kind of uh, distance information for factor analysis. How we can get information for multivariate data analysis? I think there are two important uh, uh, matrix uh, decomposition uh, for multivariate data analysis. The first one is actually eigenvalue and eigenvectors. And the second one is singular value decomposition, right? It also very uh, useful uh, we, uh, for actually machine learning um, or AI. Singular value decomposition is, as you know, is very powerful matrix decomposition to extract information. There are two useful YouTube channels to understand uh, eigenvalue and uh, singular value decomposition. So if you visit three blue, one brown uh, channel, uh, there's many, uh, there are many helpful YouTube contents to uh, clearly understand uh, eigen uh, value and eigenvectors. And also, there is an academic course. Uh, he is uh, Gilbert Strang. I think his uh, course is very useful to understand uh, singular value decomposition and also other matrix uh, decomposition. All right, let's start from uh, actually a fundamental part. So uh, the first one is vector. So as you know, an array x over real numbers x1 to xn is called a vector. It has both magnitude and direction, but not position, right? So if we consider two vectors, we define the closeness between two vectors as correlation. We can extend uh, this information to as matrix. So matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Uh, it's called a matrix of dimension n by p. We typically use n for observations and p for variables, right? So this is uh, n by p matrix. And also it is uh, multivariate, uh, multivariate data uh, structure. Right, let's think about eigenvalue and eigenvector. This is how I understand eigenvalue and eigenvector. So a square matrix A is said to have an eigenvalue lambda with corresponding eigenvectors x not equal to zero if it satisfies this condition, right? So A matrix, if you multiply by uh, this one, eigenvectors, then it becomes lambda times x vector, right? So from matrix to vector. We can use this, uh, we can get eigenvalue and eigenvector in R by using eigenfunction. Right. Again, as I mentioned, a vector has both uh, magnitude and uh, direction, right? So uh, eigenvalue and eigenvector, uh, let me give you an example. So if A is two by two square matrix, right? And there is uh, lambda one and lambda two uh, eigenvalue here, right? So we can 
uh, think of this form. So we can rewrite these two equations as one equation. x11, x12 here, x21, x22 here. And uh, lambda 1, uh, x1 vector, lambda 2, x2 vector can be rewritten like this form. Okay? The same as this one. So it means that square matrix can be decomposed by eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Like this form. So A equals to uh, x uh, multiplied by lambda uh, diagonal matrix multiplied by inverse of x matrix. Symmetric matrix uh, can be decomposed by eigenvalues and eigenvalues, eigenvectors. In this case, we call it, it's known as spectral decomposition, right? So, see, A uh, matrix can be decomposed x uh, lambda x inverse for square matrix and symmetric matrix A uh, can be decomposed by X times lambda times transpose of X, right? So uh, let's say uh, A, A, K by A yeah, equal to, A is equal to K by K square symmetric matrix, then A has K pairs of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The eigenvectors can be chosen to satisfy this condition and it's also mutually perpendicular. Right, let's think of orthogonal matrix. So definition of orthogonal matrix is like that. So if uh, a, uh, a matri uh, x matrix is orthogonal, if and only if, uh, actually transpose x equals to uh, inverse of x. So uh, it satisfies this condition. So eigenvectors of uh, symmetric matrix are orthogonal like this form. This is uh, some R program to check uh, what, I, what, I, what I have covered uh, previously, right? I hope uh, you can uh, execute uh, these R commands in your R program. Right. Uh, one of the important uh, thing, I mean, mathematical um, terminology, uh, mathematical concept is positive definite. So X transpose X times M uh, times x, if this term is greater than zero, then uh, actually it satisfies uh, positive semi-definite. And look at this form. So we uh, actually also uh, consider it as quadratic form. Positive semi-definite matrix is at the basis of convex optimization because it is twice differentiable. Right. As I mentioned, in statistical analysis, covariance and correlation matrix satisfies square type and symmetry and also uh, positive semi-definite. So again, this is the typical uh, covariance or correlation uh, matrix form, right? So uh, we can extract non-negative eigenvalues and eigenvectors from spectral uh, decomposition for covariance matrix, but because uh, covariance ma uh, matrix satisfy these three conditions. Right. Uh, in many statistical analysis, uh, 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 multivariate normal uh, distribution uh, is assumed. So the square generalized this uh, distance, sorry, distance from x to mu. Uh, can be uh, written uh, like this form, right? Th this sigma is a positive semi-symmetric uh, matrix, and this term is quadratic form. So it means that it is differentiable. And also, this is a kind of tip, how we call it uh, quadratic form. So this is a standard form, and this is a factored form. This is vertex form. Right, let's move on. Uh, singular value decomposition. A matrix uh, consists of n by p, n variable, uh, n observations, and p variables can be decomposed by u, sigma, and transpose v. And each this uh, matrix has these characteristics. Right, a final slide. 
again, uh, the objective of multivariate, multivariate data analysis, I think, it extracts information from a distance matrix, and it requires matrix decomposition, and also it reduces dimension with small information rows. So, uh, in the next video, I will uh, update how to do principal component analysis or factor analysis or cluster analysis based on these objectives. I hope this information, this video, is uh, useful and starting point to uh, understand multivariate data analysis focused on statistical analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.